Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we are going to solve this given radical equation cube root of 4 times 4th root of x minus 4th root of 3 times the cube root of x equals to 0. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let me go ahead and move this part of this equation on the right hand side and here in this next step we have moved this one on the right hand side as you can see and now let's go ahead and uh, manipulate this equation by dividing both sides by the cube root of 4 times the fourth root of 3 and likewise we are going to divide this side by cube root of 4 times the fourth root of 3 and now we can see that this thing cancels with this one so we ended up with the fourth root of x on the numerator divided by the fourth root of 3 in the denominator equals to on this side we can see that this fourth root of 3 and this fourth root of 3 is gone so we ended up with the cube root of x divided by the cube root of 4. Now we can write this left hand side as x divided by 3 and then the whole fourth root equals to likewise we can write as x divided by 4 with the cube root and now let's recall this rule where the nth root of a could be written as a power 1 over n so therefore our this equation could be written as x divided by 3 whole power 1 fourth equals to on the right hand side x divided by 4 equals to 1 third. Now let's focus on these indices 3 and 4 and we know that the least common denominator or sometimes we call it least common multiple of 3 and 4 is 12. So therefore I am going to take power of 12 on both sides of this uh, equation as you can see over here. Now let's recall the power rule of exponents according to this rule we can multiply out these exponents 1 fourth times 12 and likewise 1 third times 12 on this side as well. So our left hand side is going to become x divided by 3 whole power when we multiply 1 fourth times 12 is going to give us power 3 equals to on the right hand side this is going to become x divided by 4 whole power 4 and now the left hand side could be written as x power 3 divided by 3 power 3 equal to x power 4 divided by 4 power 4 and now we can see 3 power 3 is same as 27 and likewise 4 power 4 is 256 as you can see in our this next step now let's go ahead and cross multiply both sides so this is going to give us 27 x power 4 equal to 256 uh, x power 3. Now let's move this uh, right hand side to the left. Therefore this equation could be written as uh, 27 x power 4 minus 256 x power 3 equal to 0. And now we can see that x power 3 is in common between these two terms so therefore we can factor out x power 3 outside so we ended up with the 27 x minus 256 equals to 0 
So let's go ahead and uh, separate these factors. I can write this x power 3 equal to 0 and this uh, 27x minus 256 equal to 0 as well. And here x power 3 equal to 0 means x is going to be 0 is one of our solutions. Now let's focus on this uh, right hand side equation. Let's go ahead and add 256 on both sides. This is gone. So we ended up with the 27x equal to 256. So therefore our x value is going to be on this side 256 divided by 20. 7. So thus our solutions turn out to be x equal to 0 and 256 divided by 27. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.